places on Mars. There's a very deep crater called Hellas, which is a big impact basin. And at the bottom, the, the, it's so deep, you could fit Everest in it. Imagine a routine data stream from NASA suddenly freezes, forcing scientists to lean in closer. What do they see? So what exactly have scientists discovered here? Liquid water beneath the southern polar ice cap of Mars. So this is huge, okay? Um, we have, there are two ice caps, two polar ice caps, just like here on Earth, on Mars, but most of it is carbon dioxide, so think of it as dry ice. Well, apart from the grainy footage, there appears to be a dark, circular shape. It's deep, fresh, and untouched. A brand new crater on Mars. Trust me, folks, this isn't CGI or theory. This is real footage captured by the high RISE camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And there's even confirmation from Perseverance's own cameras. A snapshot from Mars has rocked the scientific world, changing the way we think about the red planet. And at the front of the research, a team of Australian scientists. But here's the thing. Why now? Is this the scar of a meteorite that just struck? Or is it something else? Perhaps evidence of hidden underground water or maybe ancient ice deposits exposed for the first time in millions of years. And what if this discovery changes everything we thought we knew about Mars? NASA's top planetary scientists are just as confused as we are as they're scrambling for answers, dissecting every pixel, rechecking data feeds and live streams. But the question still stands. What else is waiting beneath Mars' rust-colored deserts? Today, I'm about to dive deep into the footage and reveal some shocking facts about the discovery, evidence, and all the wild possibilities that come next. Is this the sign we've been waiting for? Stay tuned, because what I'm about to tell you next is going to be huge. It started with a blip. NASA's data streamed flagged something unusual, then boom, two of the most powerful eyes ever locked on Mars. The high rise from orbit and the perseverance from the ground. And for those of you who don't know, high rise isn't just any camera. It's the sharpest eye we have currently circling Mars. It's ultra high resolution captures details as small as 30 centimeters across. This bad boy has revealed landslides, dust devils, and even tracks left by rovers. But this time around, it's caught something new. A perfectly circular crater around 150 meters wide. And not just a bare rock either. Along the rim and deep inside the impact, you can actually see streaks of white ice. You do know what that means, right? It's water ice on Mars. Surrounding the crater, Sediment layers ripple outwards like rings on a pond. So this thing isn't just an impact crater. It's actually a window into ancient Mars, revealing buried secrets that have remained untouched for millions or perhaps billions of years now. Here's where things get wild, though. This crater wasn't found by accident or anything. It was actually flagged by the high RISE during routine mapping. The location? Cerberus Fossae. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because it's one of the most geologically active regions on the entire planet. Volcanic fissures, strange seismic readings, and now a fresh crater with water ice exposure. It's like the space jackpot. And then you had the Perseverance. It was stationed over a thousand kilometers away, near the Jezero crater, when it got the call. Engineers remotely commanded the rover to pivot its mass cams toward the coordinates. Against all odds, the rover saw it. This thing wasn't a glitch or anything. It was actually there, confirmed from both orbit and surface. The vibe inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was electric. Scientists put everything else on hold to observe the new crater. This wasn't just another photo op or anything. It was proof. There was ice beneath the dusty Martian surface, proving that Mars isn't just a dead world of red rock and dust. It's actually alive, and now it's finally revealed itself. 
Here's the bigger question now. If we're already spotting exposed water ice with today's tech, what else is hiding beneath those ancient dunes? What is Mars trying to tell us? Now the real excitement doesn't just stop with the ice. It's what is beneath all that ice that could rewrite everything we think we know about Mars. You see, every fresh crater is like a drill punching straight into Mars's ancient past. That exposed layering you saw, it's more than just pretty rock. It's actually a geological timeline. Each band could potentially represent an ancient climate shift, a past flood, or even massive volcanic eruptions. And by analyzing these layers, especially those directly above or below the ice, scientists might finally connect the dots between ancient riverbeds seen from orbit and the underground water systems they've long suspected. Then comes the million-dollar question. Could there be preserved organic material trapped inside? I'm talking about organic molecules, the basic building blocks of life. They've already been detected by Perseverance's sampling systems in other regions, but they've been weathered, or in simple words, degraded by radiation and time. This crater, though, might have punched straight into untouched material, sealed for millions of years beneath protective layers of soil and ice. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory teams are now prioritizing targeted remote sensing at this site. Spectrometers will hunt for organic structures, while thermal imaging could reveal how deep the ice layer really goes. Could this be a prime site for sample return? With NASA's Mars Sample Return mission on the horizon, a location like this, fresh, icy, layered, and full of promise, is probably what scientists dream about sending back to Earth. There's even some speculation among astrobiologists. If Mars ever supported microbial life, could craters like this one be our best shot at finding their fossilized traces? Because when you think about it, it's no longer just a question of whether Mars had water. Now, it's about what's hiding in that water or what's still there. It's possible that in the next phase of exploration, scientists and researchers won't just be looking at rocks. They'll be staring straight into ancient river systems or maybe even biological hotspots. And maybe, just maybe, the first real signs that Mars was never as dead as we thought. And I'm sure all the space enthusiasts are tripping right now, but want to know who's probably the happiest human on the planet right now, Elon Musk. But enough about what everyone thinks. Let's break down what's actually in the footage. The first images are stark. And if you ask me, they're almost unsettling. At first glance, all you can see is a jagged ink black depression in the Martian rust. Shadows spill into the crater's core, stretching out like long fingers, exaggerated by the low angle sunlight. Around the edges, subtle whites and pale blues catch the eye. Zoom in further, and the textures almost start to shift. It's like all the surrounding surface that's normally flat and uniform shows a violent disruption. And then you have the ripple-like ejector rays that fan outward, marked by alternating bands of light and dark sediment. Even with the grain of the raw capture, you can make out the stratification. It's faint, with horizontal lines curving up the crater wall. If you ask me, it's like peeking into pages of an ancient book torn open by force. And here's something else that's really interesting. This footage didn't leak or anything. It's available to everyone. The High Rise Archive, along with Perseverance's raw mass cam feed, is open access. Literally anyone can visit NASA's official servers, sift through the massive datasets, and download these untouched frames. That's actually a huge reason why these images matter so much. They're not filtered by media outlets, not color corrected by scientists. This is what Mars really looks like, unfiltered and breathtaking. 
Why raw, though? Well, because authenticity matters in discovery. Raw footage strips away assumptions. It lets planetary geologists, amateur astronomers, and us interpret the scene firsthand. Every unprocessed pixel holds clues. All the strange textures, unexpected reflections, and even hints of chemical composition are based on how the light scatters across certain surfaces. All of it means something. As this raw footage was circulating within NASA, the mission crew wasted no time and got to work. Now, while much of the real-time audio remains classified, some leaks and insiders revealed that there were a bunch of exciting hypotheses going around. And you're probably wondering, it's just a crater. What's all the hype about? It's not like this is the first crater on Mars, right? Yes and no. See, this might be an active reservoir, or maybe even the last remains of ancient ice. Why is that exciting? Well, put it simply, that right there is a time machine. It could potentially tell you everything you need to know about the Red Planet, and how it might have even hosted life at one point. NASA planetary geologists also couldn't stop talking about the visible stratification seen in the crater walls. What was this? According to experts, the layering suggests alternating dry and wet periods during Mars's distant past. Hold up. Does that mean Mars had seasons? Or was there an ice age? Episodic flooding, maybe? Or perhaps even the retreat of ancient glaciers? That's what I was telling you. The possibilities are endless. But then came that ice I've been talking about. Now, most of you already know this. Frozen ice deposits inside the impact craters aren't exactly unheard of on Mars. But this one just feels different. Well, looks different would be the right way to put it. The reflective pale patches seen in both high-rise imagery and Perseverance's mask cam hinted at fresh exposure. That means the impact that formed the crater likely broke through to a previously buried ice layer. Keep following now, this is where things get interesting. The subsurface ice at these latitudes aligns with some of Mars' most tantalizing seismic activity. Maybe this isn't just ancient trapped water. Maybe it's part of an actively shifting cryosphere. Or in other words, it's actually the part of an ice system still shifting beneath the surface of the planet. And since experts also had data on all the other famous Martian craters, comparisons revealed a ton of details. Take the Ghani Crater, for instance. It produced some of the most striking images of ice ever back in 2019. It also led to a lot of speculation about shallow water ice reservoirs on the planet. Same with the Belva Crater. It revealed sedimentary layering tied to ancient lake beds. And how can I forget about the legendary Jezero Crater, Perseverance's home turf? It was once a lake with river deltas still visible to this day. Why am I telling you all this? Well, the ancient water reservoirs and ice aren't exactly new, but they help us understand why this one is different. You see, those craters revealed past hydrological activity. This one, it's showing us something much more recent, perhaps even ongoing subsurface ice movement. Why is surface ice so fascinating, though? A lot of other planets have ice, right? Why aren't scientists looking at those? The answer is so simple, it might even shock you. One word, practical. Ice on Mars is practical, because future crewed missions could mean using this buried ice as a critical water resource for drinking, forming, and even fuel. Every exposed patch of ice brings humanity one step closer to a sustainable exploration of the Red Planet. In short, what started as a raw image might now lead to one of the biggest Mars discoveries of this decade. The search for life, the push for settlement, and the dream of making Mars our second home could all come true with whatever is beneath those thin layers of red dust. 
Of all the discoveries NASA has made on Mars, only a few strike as deep as this one. Why? Because finding fresh, exposed ice isn't just about geology or a planet's past. It's about life itself and how we could possibly set up a base and become a multi-planetary species. I lightly brushed the astrobiology angle, but let me double down on that. If ice is sitting this close to the surface, especially near an active fault zone, it could mean something else is hiding there too. I'm not talking about a massive worm or something. I mean microbes. Even today, microbial life on Earth is found deep under Antarctic ice sheets and in underground lakes. If Mars ever had life, or still has life, this is exactly where it might be hiding. For starters, it's shielded from all the radiation and protected from the brutal Martian cold. And then there's human exploration. Like I said before, for any future mission aiming to send humans to Mars, water is gold. Not just to drink, but to create breathable oxygen and even rocket fuel through electrolysis. NASA and SpaceX both know that bringing water from Earth just isn't practical for permanent settlements. But if this crater is exposing fresh water ice, that's a potential gold mine for any future missions. Instead of having to rely on risky mining operations, or deep drilling for that matter, explorers could target zones like this one and make life on the Red Planet sustainable. And yes, the ice also tells us that the Red Planet wasn't always a cold desert. And finally, this discovery was a win for technology. It's proof that NASA's equipment works brilliantly. High Rise pinpointed something brand new from orbit, and Perseverance got to work on the ground. The two combined to give scientists a complete picture in real time. Why is that so huge? Well, it shows that Mars exploration is no longer guesswork or simulations. It's real now. I know all of you have been waiting for this. Conspiracy theories. What are they about? Well, we have the usual alien base, with some suggesting the crater is actually a base. And then we have the really absurd ones about how this is some sort of a hidden portal. I mean, the fact that we've discovered ice on Mars without having to drill even once is a miracle itself. I don't understand the need for coming up with all these theories. NASA, on the other hand, is calmly debunking all these theories with side-by-side -side comparisons to other known fresh impact craters. It's science, data, and expert analysis at its best. Let's not blow this out of proportion, but at the same time, let's understand what this actually means. So, what's next? The real focus right now is on NASA's next scheduled targeted flybys by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to track changes in the crater's ice exposure over time. Perseverance, though not close enough for a visit yet, may reach soon and provide some samples. ESA's delayed ExoMars mission might now have new targets depending on this crater's future discoveries. But if one thing is for sure, Mars just gave us another secret, and the hunt for life in the cosmos just got a new twist. Anyway, that's it from my side, folks. So, what do you think? What else is hiding beneath Mars' dusty surface? Could this crater be the key to finding ancient life? And how close are we to answering humanity's greatest question? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.